Hi guys, I'm playing Tropical Zone, which is a new game. Um, this is the alpha version of a new homebrew game, which has been uh, developed by Vita Hex Games, who uh, has been doing quite a lot actually for the when it comes to Vita development. So this is his latest project, which is a first-person shooter, kind of uh, sort of like Far Cry. It's set on this uh, tropical island, and basically you sort of go around. It's open world. Uh, sandbox you go around kind of beating enemies getting new guns and conquering their bases uh, it's a pretty cool it's a, this is the alpha version so it's it's not in you know it's not final at all but um, as a kind of a first go of a game it's you know it works pretty well so you know you've got like explosive effects you can actually drive vehicles as well um, the handgun which I'm using right now has uh, unlimited ammo but then you can uh, you can get other guns as well which do have limited ammo um, but I'm really, really impressed with it actually so far. It's again, it's not, it, it's not Killzone, you know, it's not that kind of quality or even, you know, kind of Call of Duty. But, you know, this is, you know, to be fair, uh, a single guy who, uh, who made this on his own. So here you go, I'm picking up, uh, oh, I was about to pick up, uh, let me pick that up quickly. Hopefully I won't die in the meantime. There we go. So now I've got a SMG. The graphics are, are pretty impressive, um, given it is a homebrew game. It's also got explosives as well. There doesn't seem to be... Um, it seems to be very kind of just open to exploration and, uh, um, and you know, finding your way, kind of finding bases and enemies to conquer. It doesn't seem to be kind of a huge amount in terms of objectives, uh, as far as I've seen anyway. But like I said, this is very much the first build of the game so uh, maybe in future builds there'll be sort of actual objectives for us to do as well um, this is only available right now for his patreon so um, I'm one of his patreon supporters um, which you know I think just given given kind of all his work I'm kind of happy to to kind of get involved and reward the guy um, you know he also put out um, the uh, video games database, uh, which I think I've shown on a previous video, uh, and a couple other things as well. So it's, uh, you know, it's he does quite a lot for the community, which is very cool. So uh, I'm just, this is sort of my, uh, I've had one go on the game so far, but I just want to kind of have another go and just sort of explore it a bit more. I haven't been to this area, so I uh, thought I would explore it while showing off this video. Yeah, like I said, the graphics are, are pretty impressive. It does look, you know, nice on the Vita screen. It's not super sharp in terms of the textures or textures or anything. Um, although you can, when you go to the settings menu, so you can add uh, high quality water. Right now it's got low resolution. Let me turn that off and put high quality water, water on. I'm not sure what motion aiming does. Let's, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that, uh, what that does, but that's fine. I um, mean, you've got the usual first person shooter control, so you can crouch, uh, jump, run as well. Um, it, the controls just work really well, actually. It's uh, if you're familiar with other sh um, first-person shooters, then you will be very familiar and able to play this game, which is great. Oop, that was not uh, not good aiming. There we go. A little bit easy. I could probably use more difficulty. Like I said, I think. Uh, just from first impressions, I think a bit more difficulty and I'd say a bit more of objectives to the game would uh, would be welcomed. But otherwise, I really, really do kind of like the, the style, what he's done. Um, and, you know, it always impresses me that this is a this is a guy who's working on this uh, in his spare time and has developed something like this where, you know, we've got we've had people like... Uh, Activision and stuff who abandoned the Vita very quickly um, where you know just imagine what they could have done uh, if they had put some actual effort into this and some you know budget this was a guy who did this on his own and managed to manage to make a first person shooter for us and you know once he releases it it's going to be free for everyone so if you have a hacked Vita then uh, you're going to be able to download this as well which is very cool let me get the M16 that's better I prefer that so I, yeah, I think it's quite impressive as well that he's kind of put uh, uh, explosions into it and sort of, uh, like you saw there, kind of like objects that fly into the air. Blood from enemies as well. Not much, not much variety in terms of the different enemy soldiers. I've only seen like kind of two or three, I think, so far in, in, in playing. But, uh, you know, that's fine. That's fine. 
it looks seems like pretty big uh, as an island anyway as well let's blow this up there we go yep got him <laughs> it seems like a pretty big island um just from looking around from what i've seen i you know it's it's quite impressively big um one thing uh you know it's uh, when you approach an area uh there is a lot of sort of pop in of the kind of objects so as you get closer to an area you'll see kind of mountains and stuff sort of start to uh start to appear but again this is a homebrew game you know i'm not expecting uh it to be on on the level of call of duty or something let's see i might die by falling down this cliff ah. yep i died <laughs> So, and when you restart, you basically uh, go straight back to the beginning where you've got your little handgun and uh, and you're near a Jeep. So, okay, you've got to wait for it to load. Load time for the, the first sort of load is a little bit long, but, uh, you know, again, not the end of the world. It's still, this is a game you guys are going to get to play for free. So, uh, really, it's kind of a big thank you to, uh, to Vita Hex for, for developing this. Let's see, so... Uh, this is where you start off. Let's jump in the Jeep and drive around a little bit. So, so far from uh, playing it, I've come across around four different camps of enemies. Oh, and I think the car was different when I this time from when I started last time. So uh, I guess it changes each time as well. Or maybe it's randomized somehow. <clears throat> oh, there's like another camp right here near me. Can I kill enemies by driving on them? Yep, you can kill them by driving on them. Interesting. This uh, is not as quick to drive, the big truck. Let's see, where did that... There was another... Oh, there we go, okay. Yeah, the enemy aiming is not very good. I don't feel like they've, I've ever been in danger when I've uh, gone into enemy camps. So maybe that's something as well that uh, he will develop over time. But this is just the alpha version, so, you know... I expect we'll see more versions in future and more kind of updates. But as a first attempt, very cool, very impressed. So guys, that is Tropical Zone by Vita Hex Games. Uh, I believe the uh, the public release will be happening pretty soon, so check that out. If you already follow him, uh, if you're already a subscriber on Patreon, then you'll be able to play it right now. But guys, um, let me know in the comments, are you planning to, to grab this and give it a try when it comes out? And as always, thanks for watching.